Hello and welcome to Gardening Tips with Phil. Well, we're inside today in the garage. Uh, we're going to do the uh, tomato starts. The reason I'm doing them indoors is it's pretty grey and windy outside, so here there's not much wind noise. Um, yeah, so we're going to do them under uh, cover, so I've got some stuff here. I'm going to do the one tray, but yeah, so we're going to put them in um, these start trays. And then we'll um, transfer them over to larger jiffy pots um, when they're a you know, couple of weeks old, three or four weeks old. And we'll um, get them um, all underway. So what we need is get some gear and I'll get uh, uh, the potting mix, worm castings. And again, obviously we're going to use, uh, gonna put a sprinkle of uh, humus in there. Uh, instant humus which will help a bit but I'll just won't bother dissolving it'll dissolve in the dirt in the soil I should say as it uh, is very very moist um, what else so yeah and obviously sea minerals and the um, seaweed solution kelp solution uh, will uh, don't worry we won't worry about rock dust because it's only in there for a very short time and it's a very slow release fertilizer so yeah I'll get everything together and uh, we'll get underway be back in a few minutes okay so we've got the seeds here so I'm actually today going to plant um, well I think I've got I hope I have the one I want ah that's the one I think brandy wine I was looking for black Russian but couldn't find them so well do the brandy wine because that's quite a nice um, nice big uh, tomato so right so uh, we'll get uh, them back we'll get the seeds back into the uh, fridge where I usually keep them stored now we'll just get the potting mix and the worm castings and mix them in the tray here well, that's a good sifted organic potting mix Then now we'll get the worm castings to mix in. We'll get the worm castings to mix in, Fred. Half a trail of them. <laughs> Just get the other out. That should be enough worm castings going through there. Oh, I'll get my hands dirty. Just have a beer. Yes, I will clean this up. I don't know what's happened to my seed dial, but never mind. We'll get, this, we'll get the seeds. And I might do about maybe eight in this tray. We better mark them the brandy wine. Now these are a indeterminate uh, lot. What I am going to do is probably have a look for my seed dial. I'll be back in a tip. Found it, beauty. Turn some light on. So we'll get some more uh, potting mix, just put a light sprinkle over it and uh, get in some more stuff into a more sea mineral here and we'll be right. I'll use my hands for this because, okay, that's that done. Now we just give it some more moisture. You don't need to over water them but you know, it's a good idea to get some in there. Gives them a good head start. So, yeah. 
We'll get the rest of these seeds back in. Now I can't remember what ones I saved last year, but I know I did save some seeds. Okay, that's that done. Now I'll just get them marked. What I'll do is I'll just use one of the label makers as well. We'll be back in a minute for that. No, you don't have to see that. <laughs> anyway, put these seeds away. Put the top on. And it's that simple. They're ready to go for um, in the spring planting. Yeah, so there we have it. Our brandy wine uh, tomatoes are planted. Our brandy wine is a heirloom variety of tomato and it's uh, grown, grows quite big tomatoes an old Amish um, heirloom variety uh, fantastic in sandwiches and that because they're nice and big so yeah well um, anyway if you enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos in the future just hit the subscribe button below and uh, thank you very much for watching Gardening Tips with Phil and we'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.